Hello guys and welcome to my channel again. I wanted to make the second video for describing the functionality of this soldering station I've been working at and I'm gonna show you how it works. This is how the new case is actually looking like after I made some modifications. Um, if you power it up it will lead you directly to the soldering menu. The menu to the right is the soldering temperature um, setup which is currently set to 360 degrees then follows the low temperature menu so basically the standby temperature. If you don't move the handle for a um, um, specific period of time then um, it will enter this standby temperature. And this time hot menu is basically allowing you to set the time before entering standby. You can set it up to 360 seconds. The sound menu allows you to scroll between different sound um, tones and volumes. Zero meaning mute. The backlight basically allows you to control the PWM of the backlight LED. The next menu is the info menu which allows you to check the software version, the hardware version, the input voltage and you can actually check the input voltage before starting to operate the soldering station and in the info menu you also have the possibility of checking the tip temperature and the PCB temperature. I also added a default menu and this default menu will set every uh, setting to the default value. This means setting the default soldering temperature, the default time before entering standby. The plus in the corner shows the fact that the heating element is actually powering. I also added here on the bottom line um, the PCB temperature. If you remove the aviator plug you will get an error on the screen. I also added some other errors including over voltage. If the input voltage exceeds a certain value then it will give this over voltage error on the screen. Now if you have multiple errors in the same time like now it will just display the errors um, message. <clears throat> Otherwise the bottom line shows the tip wattage and the PCB temperature. You have the possibility of returning to the main menu from this menu and um, reset everything again and then going back to um, the soldering menu. <clears throat> For instance now I can go to um, the standby time and set this to down to 60 seconds that means one minute and if I leave the handle untouched for one minute then it uh, should go to this standby temperature. The plus in the corner is still showing that the heating element is being powered in order to maintain the temperature around 360 degrees which is the soldering temperature.
but after one minute this plus um, will not show up anymore meaning that the heating element uh, is not powered anymore and the temperature is heading down to the standby temperature Once the soldering station reaches the standby temperature, it will start powering the heating element again, trying to maintain the standby temperature. There you go. Now if I move the handle, it will automatically jump to the soldering temperature. <coughs> it does this very fast. So this is basically how it's looking like and how it's working. I also tried to test it to see if it works with an external solar panel and I used a 68 watt flexible solar panel and um, it seemed like it was working very well. As always, have fun creating your electronic projects and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.